Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, we're going to be checking out and slightly going back in time as we're going to be having a look at some old McDonald's premiums. Premiums basically mean they're the toys that you get with Happy Meals. And uh, this is the Marvel Superheroes. This is the complete set, all eight figures. Um, I always kind of wanted to go back into doing the like fast food premiums because I always think... I think they're kind of fun. It's one of the things that I used to really look forward to as a kid. Of course, going to the fast food places themselves. But I was getting like a little toy in the process. And I've done a bunch of them in the past, kind of like the Simpsons and stuff like that. So I think we might try to do more of these on the channel here. By the way, these are from 1996. 1996. So they are a little on the old side. Luckily, they are still sealed. And we're going to have a look at an entire set of eight. Sounds good? Sounds good. Okay. So, we are going to grab ourselves a knife. I'm going to use, I think, Hank for this one. The first one, by the way, being Marvel Super Heroes number one. And this is the Spider-Man vehicle. And again, dated from 1996. Go ahead on and open it. And let's pull it out here. Okay, so it is the Spider-Man car. Kind of like more like the spider dune buggy, that little spider car that he's got. It's got some nice coloring there with the blues and some nice red on the webbing here. And it's got this very unique looking front uh, kind of web. I don't know what, like it look, almost looks like it would be a fly swatter. There's Spider-Man sitting in the front. I don't know where his legs would all go. It just looks like, it just looks like it, his lower half is gone. Aww. Poor Spidey. Here's the back of it. I don't know if this... Of course, I'm experiencing this at the same time as you guys. So clearly, moving it doesn't... doesn't uh, knock out this little fly swatter web thing. Um, I don't know if there's actually a trigger point to it. Oh, you press Spider-Man. Oh, look at this. So you press Spider-Man, I guess, to release it. Press it. Shoots out his little, again, little fly swatter web. Seems to work pretty good, considering I just actually got it out of the bag. Perhaps over time that would get progressively loose, but it seems to be doing the job perfectly fine for the time being. Yeah, that's not a bad looking car. Nice. Oh, and some spider symbols on the tires. Uh, on the underside it actually says 1996 as well. Now, how old were you in 1996, viewers of this video? Just trying to do some math in my head here. Hmm. Well, in, in 1996, I think I would have been in grade... I think I would have been in grade 12 in high school, which whatever age that would be. 16 or so? Again, I'm kind of doing it in my head. I suppose if I could sit down with a pad of paper... And a little pen, I could probably come up with a better number for you. How old were you, though, in 1996? Some viewers would actually even say, I wasn't even born yet. Gosh, that makes me feel old. Number two is uh, Storm. Storm. And she comes with... She's, she's crossing her arms, and yet the cape kind of also looks like arms. So it looks like she's got four arms. That is one fantastic hairstyle. Look at that hairstyle on Storm. She's riding on top of a cyclone. You can see there's electricity and stuff running through that. See? Some lightning bolts. On the other side as well. This one I think you... Well, it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Just move it back and forth. That is going to make her really dizzy. Oh, I'm just noticing it as well. Maybe I can do it on my hand. The little inside here. Now it's not going to do it. The little inside was lighting up. I'm not making that up, am I? No, no, the lightning bolts are 
See, there's like these little sparks that are forming inside. I would hope that that's supposed to be like that. <laughs> and that it's just not a faulty toy. There is Storm. Mmm, not bad, not bad. I think I like the Spider-Man a little bit more, but I digress. Where is number three? Here's number three. Number three is Wolverine. And it looks like he comes with his X-Jet. Go ahead and get that opened up. Again, if you guys like these videos, let me know down below. Uh, there's Wolverine. Probably not quite to, not quite to scale. But he's flying the X-Jet. Face is uh, mm, mm, passable, I guess. Somewhat passable. Again, no legs. That's, that's okay. In the land of fast food premiums, we suspend all disbelief. Uh, I guess his gimmick for this is you take the little top fins and you bring them forward. Bazing! Also, now he's got some, I don't know what you would call those, missiles? Are they missiles? Who knows? I'm going to go on a limb here, and I don't tend to do limbs that often. I'm going to go on a limb and say those are missiles. Or actually, no, wait. Maybe they're claws, eh? Wolverine, after all. Maybe they're claw blades. Some disgruntled viewer right now down below is just now deleting his comment. He's like, oh, I was going to say claw blades too. Oh, that reviewer, he beat me to it. Claw blades. I don't know really how that would work. I guess Wolverine would have to fly into something and hope that only the side wing clips whatever it's flying towards so that the claw blades hopefully would break right, I don't know. It's McDonald's logic. I can't, for, for a second, try to explain it. Claw blades. Disgruntled viewer down below. Oh, I would have said that too. Just, I was about to say, those are claw blades. Oh, ah, now he's, now he's defeated me. You won this round. Next time, though. Next time. The next one we have is Jubilee. This is number four. You, you notice I'm also doing these in sequence, which I guess isn't really quite accurate for how I placed out the toys. Spider-Man 1... Storm 2, Wolverine 3. There we go. Now they're in order. Next one we have is Jubilee. Jubilee. Jubilee Jew. What's going on with you? I wasn't really expecting that to rhyme. What's going on with her face? Ooh. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. She kind of looks like the master from Doctor Who. Is it the master? No, it's not the master. Who's the head of the Daleks, where it's just like his lower half? Davros? Is it just the lower half? Is this this pod? And he, the top half of him? That's what looks like it's... Where is her legs? What's happened to poor Jubilee's legs? Her gimmick is this. I don't know if that's supposed to be her superpower. Like that's actually coming out of her hand. I can't imagine it's part of the bike. She would really quickly realize how under needed she is because basically anyone could get onto this bike and do the exact same thing. But it's kind of like this, I don't know what you would call it, like a pinwheel. It changes colors. It's only really spinning. That's, that's what it's doing. But it gives us a really neat psychedelic effect. I feel like right now I'm entering some time warp. Let's do the time warp again. All right, let's knock it off. Move Spider-Man over, move Storm over, move Wolverine over. Let's put Jubilee right there. Jubilee Jew. Anybody remember the show Zubilee Zoo? That's actually where I've taken that. That's the context of where I was getting that from. Zubilee Zoo. The next one is uh, number five. This is Color Change Invisible Woman. Oh no, color change activated by dipping toy in cold water below 55 degrees Fahrenheit to avoid burns, do not use hot water, color change may have already started in bag. I hope so, because I really was not prepared by needing water. I don't have any beverage here next to me. Well, there's the invisible woman. Sorry, what, what is she doing? Well, basically what she's doing is what she's doing right now. I guess she, I don't know if she, I wonder if I could actually just hold my hand against her. I know it's cold water, but maybe it's slightly cold in this room. No dice. <laughs> no dice. Well, you have to have, I guess, 
for Invisible Woman makes sense to have a color change. I feel slightly disappointed, slightly robbing you guys. I didn't have a thing of ice water here. Okay, wow. I can't imagine it to be all that spectacular anyways. I almost dropped her as well. We'll put her right there. Does she at least stand? She does. Yay! Woo! She does stand. Uh, let's bring the other bags over here. Uh, we would be at six, would we not? This is the thing. Thing also makes appearances. I don't know if Mr. I don't think Mr. Fantastic. Mr. Fantastic kind of gets kind of gets robbed in this one. This one also has a little plastic here. We can just cut the oh, almost let out the thing. Well, it's a tank. So mileage-wise, bang for your buck, you at least get a lot more plastic going on here. It's Fantastic Four on the side, some thrusters on the back. Yeah, that ain't bad. Now, how does the thing, does it move? Barely. These don't move the greatest. This one, the back one is a little on the stiffer side. The front one seems to move fairly easy. Uh, I don't think there was an actual, oh, there is, sorry, there is. Well, it's not really staying together anyways, but if you wanna go through the whole process, it looks like you actually just press the lever down. I don't think any of these really say what they, no, they don't. I thought maybe they might say how to activate them, but I'm, I'm a pretty smart enough guy. I think it's just you, you press this down on the back. Let's see if that's right. I'm pressing this down, by the way, which I guess you could say is the tailpipe. Yeah, we'll go with that. Okay, so we'll press like the tailpipe. And was thing actually, oh, I guess he, I guess he rotates. It's kind of like, ta-da, I'm the thing. I don't know. Again, no legs. McDonald's believes that their superheroes should not have any legs whatsoever. Well, that, actually, you know what? You got me, McDonald's. You got me. Invisible Woman's got legs. There's the thing. And I guess when you... There's, I guess he doesn't... No, it doesn't close this way, so you have to rotate it back. Put the shell, the husk, the husk of the tank back over top of him. And once again, you press this button. Ta-da! Okay, so, all right, that one's, that was a little on the lame side. I, I don't know, I kind of feel like I'm still going back to Spider-Man on this one. The next one we have, this is number seven. This is the Hulk. Hulk looks like a full-sized figure, too. Well, as full-sized as a Happy Meal toy can get. Me Hulk! Me can't move arms! Well, he can't actually move his arms. Uh, I don't know what he does, though. He does lunges or crunches. That's why he's got the six-pack. I guess he's supposed to spring. Not so much. I'm supposing, I'm guessing that's what he's supposed to do, though. Hulk, little lame. Little on the lame. Not Jubilee lame. Jubilee lame. Hulk is moderately lame. At least you can rotate his head and you can rotate his arms. So that's something. I would pass you, Hulk, as acceptable. Again, not to the level of Jubilee. Jubilee's just lame. And finally, we have bag number eight. This would be the Human Torch. So no Mr. Fantastic at all. And funny enough, Marvel superheroes... Predominantly, we got X-Men and we've got Fantastic Four. Iron Man, Captain America, no. Not this set, Bunkos, not this set at all. Now, what does this one do? Don't tell me he's doing it right now. Okay, he rotates. Arms, yeah. Head, no, okay. I guess you put a light... You put a light source over his... I mean, why am I doing this? Clearly my hand is not the sun or lamp. I guess you would put that over top of the flames and his eyes would light up. It looks like the inside of him would do something, but that's actually just the screw on the other side. Hey, Human Torch, a little lame. I mean, he looks good. From a gimmick end of it, you would think Human Torch could do something. 
like light up, you know, something. I'm pressing everything, his flames, no, nothing. Arms don't trigger anything. Like, he should really light up. Even if he did light up, I don't think he would light up now. I mean, it's, it's, it's a while ago that these came out. What are we thinking here? Uh, 21 years? 21 years ago. Wow. 21 years ago these came out. Yeah, batteries probably wouldn't have worked anyways. But come on. This could have used something extra just uh, outside of what we're getting right now. What we're getting right now... A little lame. Just, just a little bit lame. There's Miss... There is... I was going to say Mr. Fantastic. There's the Human Torch. All right, so there's all eight. There's all eight figures. Some better than others. Let's kind of let's rank these, shall we? Maybe I'll ask you guys down below as well. Rank, rank these in order. Lamest to not so lamest. I would say actually, Spider-Man might be my favorite, followed by Wolverine. Even though he's got. I don't again. I don't know what's going on with this claws. Wolverine. Uh, maybe Storm. I kind of dig the way that spins. Hmm. Maybe Hulk. Thing. Human Torch. Visible Woman. And the lamest of the lame. I guess it could be a toss-up, because Invisible Woman doesn't really do all that much. I think the lamest one is probably the Jubilee. So sorry for Jubilee fans out there. Some disgruntled Jubilee fan has unsubscribed to this channel. I'm I'm really sorry. That is probably the lamest. It just... I, it's psychedelic. I'm going through the time warp. I think, again, my favorite is probably the Spider-Man. Today, though, we were having a look. We get, went back in time to 1996. We had a look at the McDonald's Premiums. Of the Marvel superheroes. Like this video? Yeah, hit it with a like down below. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet to this channel, hit that little subscribe button down below as well, that you won't miss future videos coming on to this channel. And hey, why not? We're at it. At, at, we're here and doing it anyways. Uh, there's also a food premium playlist where you can actually go back and check out some of the other fast food premiums that I've done on this channel as well. Always like to see new comments on those older videos. Uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching as you always do. See you next time.